In this demonstration, you'll learn about the blade tip support feature available in Turbo Setup. I'll begin by creating a one-dimensional mean line geometry using Vista CCD. Here, I can use Vista CCD's workbench interface to specify the working conditions and geometric requirements for this compressor's geometry. By default, a tip clearance has been specified for this geometry. Upon updating this project, Vista CCD generates a geometry according to the specified settings. By creating a new Turbo Setup cell from the existing Vista CCD cell, analysis settings according to the one dimensional design will be defined in Turbo Setup automatically. In the Turbo Setup interface, I can quickly designate the working conditions and geometry type. Here, I can specify whether my impeller has a tip clearance, is shrouded, or contains a splitter. In this case, these settings have been imported from Vista CCD. Once my case has been defined in Turbo Setup, I can create a Turbo Machinery Fluid Flow app. The Turbo Mesh and Setup cells of the Turbo Machinery Fluid Flow system are initialized with the appropriate settings as prescribed by the Turbo Setup system. To create a three-dimensional CAD geometry of the compressor, I'll transfer the one-dimensional mean line design to Blade Gen. In Blade Gen, I can inspect the three-dimensional geometry and modify it. Looking closely at the blade contour sketch, we can see the tip clearance, which has been specified in Vista CCD. We can also look at a three-dimensional rendering of the compressor's geometry. In the Blade Gen Properties view, I can check that the Shroud Clearance Layer option is appropriately set so that the downstream turbo mesh component can account for the tip clearance. Since I transferred the one-dimensional design from Vista CCD, this option has been automatically set. Using Workbench, I can transfer my three-dimensional blade geometry to the turbo meshing cell and prepare the mesh for simulation. The mesh produced adheres to the mesh density specified in Turbo Setup. To ensure that my simulation has been set up correctly, I'll open CFX Pre and check some of the simulation settings. As we can see, Turbo Setup has defined a steady state calculation. The physics settings match those previously specified. The rotor 1 domain has been set correctly as a fluid domain containing air as an ideal gas. The domain's motion has also been described by an expression defining its angular velocity. In this domain, default fluid models have been set and can be manipulated before submission to the solver if needed. As well, domains defining the tip clearance have been created for each blade present. The simulation defined adheres to the conditions outlined in Turbo Setup and is ready for submission to the solver. With my geometry loaded into the Turbo Machinery app and simulation appropriately defined, I can update my project. This initiates a steady state Reynolds Average Navier Stokes CFD calculation for the design. The properties of the result cell are populated from the Turbo Setup system so that the appropriate report is generated and exported as an HTML file. These results can be viewed at will upon clicking the result cell. Turbo Setup allows me to save a particular workflow and efficiently run it on multiple geometries, streamlining an iterative design process. This concludes this demonstration on the use of Turbo Setup on a centrifugal compressor geometry with a blade tip clearance.